There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Here's a mate, Lieutenant Akir, at your service. And hello, <laughs> Dain Shat, you damn lunatics. Hey, welcome back after well, after a year <laughs> to Slime Rancher 2. It hasn't been as long a while as it been with uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker, but still, it's been over a year now. And yeah, hello, you two, Glacier Boy and Durvin. Let's see, Captain and First Mate are late. They are, yes, nowhere to be seen. I mean, things are usually quiet during this timer step until the timer runs out. Day late, doubt mode activates. Wait, you are in on this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, glad to see you too and hope you'll enjoy the show. Yeah, let's get started. This game has gotten some updates since last that we've played. So I'm curious to see what uh, new stuff we can find. Oh, new message at the comm station immediately. Let's see, it has oh, been a while. So I will need to catch up on some things. Uh, Wait, <laughs> that's that's already three. Hmm? I thought that's... Might be that damn thing where we were bossed by a tree. I thought something was by a tree and moved away. It might be that the flutter thing. There we go. Uh, let's see. It's been a year, like I said, so I'm not too sure about what everything we've been going on. We've got a lot of freaking chickens, that's for sure. Uh, wait. Okay, let's just grab a bunch of you. We've got one elder chicken, it looks like, or is that a sea chicken? Like a seagull. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, let's put a few of you back in. Four should do. Mm. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> let's see, Durban, how are uh, you both? The glacier boys throw slime at Glen Durban. <laughs> behave, you two. Yes, okay. No throwing slimes. Okay, well, this is, this one is completely full with uh, <clears throat> the plorts. Uh, yeah, lots. Meat, fruit, and veggie. Fix that. Yeah, we'll grab those in a second. Okay, should be good for selling at least. Yep, 30 is about the max that we can carry. Um, might as well put these in here. Okay. Let's see. I think I'd heard about this game getting a new area unlocked. It had definitely has been getting some uh, quality of life patches, I believe. Let's see. How are we on money with this? Yep. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I've completely forgotten any things we had planned with this, so we'll just have to look around about all of that. I'm pretty sure I was planning on keeping some of these in a corral. I'm not sure I if actually... we were working on anything here. I think I remember some of it, actually. Oh? Where are the <laughs> No. Yep. Hello, see. little crazy yes! <laughs> Hello, Jess. Let's see sneaks into what's with popcorn and Durban Lord. Also, I'm working on the cold gun in DRG now. So closer to prepare to fully focus engineer once the event DRG comes around. Or the next DRG comes around. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that might be next week, but more likely the or rather tomorrow. Uh, but more likely the week after, since yeah, we we do want to continue on with Borderlands and such. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Primordial oil, boom plorts, battery plorts, or jetpack upgrades, radiant ore, tank booster. Is there anything we need crystal plorts for at the moment? Yes, there we go. Tank guard. So with 20% of your vac tank's contents upon accidental encounters with the slime sea or following other forms of health loss. Okay, then there's two more upgrades. Utilities, med station, hydro turret, portable water tap, meat slime bait. Can be used to harmlessly attract meat eating slime. So, okay, th this would be good for uh, if we can put this in our base, we can use this to corral meat slimes to a certain specific point, so they'll leave the chickens alone. A spring pad. Okay. Uh, we can't afford any warp stuff. And decorations are nice, but not really needed. 
Let's see. Hi, Jess. Durval is running as tickles Jess. <laughs> okay, do behave, you two. Oh, these are baddie ploys, not crystals. I'll put them in all the same. <clears throat> Let's see. <coughs> Pardon? Yeah, you've been pardoned. Uh, what's... Yeah, right. For a moment I thought there was something else new here. Okay. Um, we need to look at expanding. Or at least setting up some more corrals. Like, these are going to leave the chickens alone. These are vegetarian. Uh, we have our water slimes here. So, you can just grab a few. <laughs> Get out of there, you. Okay. Got some melons. Ma or oh, mangoes. <laughs> uh, here we go again. What? I, get the, I gotta grab the picture book. Time to teach him the differences between the fruits again. Okay. Looks like we've used up all of the spots over here. So there's all the more reason to go expand outwards. Oh, I'm gonna read the chat here from... Let's see. Grace Boy says, Hi, yes, and Dural Lord of Furus have a question. Can't help but wonder, is the allowed number of pellet chickens higher in this... High in this than the first game? Maybe. If it is, I haven't made too much notice of it. Let's see. Humph Victor has something to say. Hello, Beatrix. Seeing as you've taken an interest in building gadgets, I've put together a little housewarming gifting support of both your pragmatic and creative endeavors. Looking forward to seeing what you build. And okay, we get the meds station. And conservatory table. Okay, some chairs. Okay, more from you. Oh, Beatrix, I was up all night trying to synthesize the, synthesize the you know, perfect gift for you. Hypothesizing, testing, throwing my results into you know, trash, starting all over again. Finally, I discovered an alternative method, shopping for something online. The process was surprisingly straightforward. <laughs> Large pinwheel, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, Mochi Miles. Hey, Bia, those drones you've been finding all over the island, there's something weird about them. Hmm? Hey, I got eyes in the sky, and I got, I'm gonna use them. Yeah, I'm also readying a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion, but I digress. Anyway, that drone seems super advanced, like almost alien. And so I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out Rainbow Island just like you. No, I didn't think so. Because it looks like the drones we use, but so much more familiar to me. Almost like it's giving me deja vu. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, don't be scared. It's probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture or eat or both. Uh, mochi. <laughs> Later, BM. Okay, Ogden. Beatrix, I'm glad you called. I looked over the pics you sent me of Rainbow Island. No doubt they are a sight to behold. Beautiful. With colors that only go richer the longer you look. But unnatural, too. I'm sorry, but something about that place is not right. As you may recall, I was once the head of a very successful Instafood corporation. Genetically altering food was our specialty. And I'm not proud of the lengths we went to to alter natural food to grow bigger, faster, and cheaper. To strip it of the good stuff in favor of profits. I say this, Beatrix, because I can sp still spot a plant that has been unnaturally altered when I see it. And the beautiful rainbows you see before you on that island did not arrive there naturally. It's not clear to me if this spells any sort of danger for you, but it gives me an uneasy feeling in my stomach. I need to do more research and get back to you. Stay safe, Omega. <laughs> and Sora. Very well. Uh, uh, well now, if it isn't Beatrix Labier. Old Hobby and uh, Old Hobby and I were just talking about you. What is you went up the parts unknown of this here rock with a thirst for a new adventure? Yeah, the girl. You just keep on walking to see what new wonders are around the next corner until your boots have holes, and then get yourself some new boots and do it some more. <laughs> <laughs> well, my boots have seen better days, but I know there's still an adventure or two left in them. I suppose I just need to figure out what. 
Ah, heck, I'm rambling just like Hobson does after he gets to talking about exploring, exploring the cosmos, cooking, or pretty much any other topic. All right, B, you hang in there. I'll be calling to check in on you. Doesn't matter who you are, we all start feeling it when home is beyond the horizon. But before I forget, here's a little something for you to spruce up your new place. It ain't much, but you need to do what you can to make the place feel cozy. A taming bell? Okay. A bit curious what that may do. Also, really? The first thing you read about Florida was... Pharrell? <laughs> Let's see... There, there's a, these are the decorations, utilities, taming Wait, bell. Hmm? Hobson! Yeah? Was it that guy who left all the damn diaries over all the Lost Island in the other game? I'm pretty sure he was, and then at the end we learned that he... <laughs> I think he managed to end up back with her? A hobby and such. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the, the way these things went is that we found his notes up until the teleporter. Um, and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> next we heard of him was <laughs> hearing about having it, him having actually turned back from there to, well, go back to uh, the theater. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, apparently it was the four mm. on there, I guess. Oh, the closer tone of this curious bell will calm the anger of any feral slime that hears it. Okay, that would be nice in some places where there's only feral slimes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's clear up up here a little bit more, empty these out. I might need to move a few of these idiots out of here before they really overflow the place. Yeah, we may need to or upgrade okay, this. You have to turn the uh, bank again. Yeah, there is the silos and such. Okay. Anyways, what have you all been up to, chat? Let's see. Were we making these for a specific slime? We've got a we've got a, <laughs> a tree set up up with heat for it here. Also these, I'll just grab them and put them in the feeder. And let's see, I, yeah, for the moment, let's see if we can get enough money to open up any of these. The archway, an expansion to the conservatory set among ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. Expansion set a, <laughs> says, oh, uh, making this a great uh, pot for uh, slimes that enjoy some fruit and veggies in their young diets. Okay. And then there's the den, hidden within a large rounded hill besides, uh, resides the den, an expansion to the conservatory, his dark damp cave is a refuge from the sun for slimes and branches alike. Phosphor slimes in particular enjoy the mushroom lined walls, while Betty slimes love to stretch their wings in their natural habitat. That would probably be the best choice at the moment. Uh, but where exactly is probably this one, though, to the south? Let's see, Durvin can't help but wonder, yeah, uh, when I'm not playing DRG, I'm attempting to advance in Red Dead 2 and, you know, wrestling legendaries or RPing in Guild War 2 mostly. Playing some Final Fantasy Online. Um, where oh, is the purchase button, or did I... Wait. Did I purchase them already, or are, are they just now... Base available from the start or something. Hmm. I think you purchased them for. Look at these slimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We can do a bit of free ranching here. Though we should keep in mind that we shouldn't mix them together too much. Hmm. Yeah, we can. Sure. Having introducing a third slime in here will uh, yeah problems. lead to tars, and it's not something yeah. we want. Okay, there you go. Maybe we can set up another farm here to make sure that they are always fed, uh, so that they won't get angry. But beyond that, not too sure what we could really do here. Maybe set up some storage. Okay. 
Let me see any more. Yes. I do a full on body plorts. Let's see. What can what? we put down in these? Corral, garden, coop, silo, incinerator, and a pond. Hmm. Silo and maybe a few farmers would do good. Since these only eat fruit, it would be a good place to grow more vegetables. Hmm. Yeah, do I do I suspect we would rather want a silo near the house? Yeah, since we'll be passing by there mostly. Let's see. How many of these do I have in storage? Let me see. Okay, angler. Puddle plorts we need more of. Crystal plorts. Uh, Betty plorts we have a decent amount. Okay, phosphor plorts. Okay. Let's make sure that we have an overflow rather than a shortage. And go check out the other spots. Oop. Hmm. I'll need to go find some normal or pink slimes because we need those as well. Uh, let's see. These are mostly happy. Um, they look hungry. Yep. No. Get back in there. Okay. Hmm. Now I'll need to check up again which, uh, what the favorite food of each of these are. Oop. Uh. Bye. Uh. Why? Yeah, uh, because the... <laughs> If they got their hand, if they got their hands on the plort, they would have uh, gone tar. And what was the food that you liked? I'm feeding you just chickens at the moment. Hmm. Um, beets. Go here. Okay. And then grab some of these. We'll need to set up a pen for the crystal slimes here. And see what we mix them with. Uh, for the moment, let me just keep them as is and actually look if we bought any of these as well. If not, then we know that we need to work towards making some money first. Oh. Okay, we've got boom tabbies here. Or boom hunters. Oh. Okay. And which is free roaming hunters. which is free roaming chickens hmm Boom. that sounds oddly adorable <laughs> until they leap at you and explode uh, it's... okay we haven't unlocked this here what is this the tide pools a coastal sanctuary for coral life forms and seaweed this expansion to the conservatory is guaranteed to fill your shoes with sand <laughs> okay let's buy it Okay. Do we have anything that roams around here of its own? Or is this an open area? Okay. Deep brine. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. There's a drone up there. Okay. Just need to get a decent amount of height. And there we go. Now, what do you have to say? GG.log? I used to be afraid of the water. It felt like it was endless and would just swallow you up. I was only ever willing to dip my feet in the shallows, where I could see the bottom and see the extent of it. And now, what would you even call what I plunged into? Water so deep, so endless, that I may never see the surface again. I'm feeling sorry for myself again. I should get back to work. Okay. I'm hoping he's talking... Metaphorically, there. Hmm. Okay. This place has some natural water, so we could put puddle slimes here. Hopefully. 
For now, let me just put up one of these. Put you in there. You eat veggies. So... Let's have one of these be a farm. Or a garden. And we just need to go grab some vegetables and get them started. Is there anything specifically that the crystal slimes like? Let me see. Veggies Favorite odd onion. onions. Onions. Okay. <laughs> Briar hen for them. Uh, the tanuki, we have no favorites. Sea hen for the angler slimes. Barosaurus with cube berries. Stony hen for the tabbies. Water lettuce for the cotton slime. So we need to go find some of that. To well be more efficient with what we with the uh, materials we get from them. And this one we can mostly leave as is for now, just free range. Hmm. Go. <laughs> Just all of them in the corner there. <laughs> Let's see. It's very concerning, especially if they all. Um... Oh, hello, another one. I sometimes used to bring my lunch here and stare at these colossal fossils, wondering what this world looked like when it when they were alive. It's a world of slimes now, but who knows what it was before. And if the universe has room for a whole world and its ecosystem changing course, maybe we should accept the same of each other. Geez, talking about that past sure, er, about the past sure resonates these days. I wonder what profound thoughts I had to share back then. Hmm. Not seeing any fossils at the moment. <laughs> a few hunters going after a chicken, yeah, and all three of them the missing. Fossils. Oh, what these, the ammonites. Was... I, I was thinking more like normal bones and such. But yeah, these... All of this used to likely be underwater. <laughs> all of them dazed each other. If, if you idiots are hungry, go after the chickens. There's chickens everywhere here. Hmm. Are you sure? Okay, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to move the boom slimes elsewhere and mix them with something that's vegetarian so that I can put up a garden for them to feast on. Okay, for a moment though, we need vegetables. Okay, those are still going. Uh, these we can sell. And these three we'll just put into stock because I'm pretty sure we're low on those. Okay. Anything that we can make at the moment? Pardon. Let's see. We need more boom plorts for that. We can go grab those. But we, we are short on tabby plorts. Uh, rock plorts as well. Okay, rock, tabby, right. and boom. We need brine as well. Yeah. Okay, rock, tabby, and plorts. Uh, first um, off, brine. give me a bit so for that, yeah. Uh, let's see. I forget which species like the mango, so wrong end. It's you eat oh veggies and nectar. Okay, not fruits. Hmm. And this one doesn't have a feeder from the looks of it. Yeah. Let's buy that. Buy that as well. Okay. Uh, what likes the mangoes? Let me take a quick look. Lettuce, hen, nectar, heartbeat. Okay, it's the honey slimes that like the nectar. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay. Keep them happy. Let's feed them that batch then. Uh, let's Wait, see. Wait, how many ones the one we have free roaming here? Uh, no, these are but those are butterfly ones or flutter slimes, I believe they're called. Yeah, flutter slime nectar. All right. Let's just gather things up a bit for a second. Yeah, I do believe there are a lot more birds in this thing now than there were in the <laughs> in the first game. Also, that's an old he uh, male hen. You need a new male hen. Uh, uh, the, the other male hens. Some of the other male hens in here. There. There you go. Okay. Now, you lot like the sea hens. Can I still pull these out? Holy. Yes, I can. This whole... This stuff is horrifying! I need to get home! One, two, three. Uh, let's see, we still need a vegetable to feed them. Uh, let's see. I probably should switch switch this one out for a silo. Since we already have cube berries growing elsewhere. So demolish this one. Hmm. Okay, maybe I I can mix the I can mix the crystal slimes with something that likes fruits and plants the, any of these here. Maybe honey slimes if we can find them. Or just pinks for now. Also, hello there. I think you had the mint one, or the mint bag of four on the slime, but... Have they yeah. escaped you so far? Yeah, we haven't found them yet, and I think I saw something up there. Hmm. Yes, there's a drone there. Okay, let's wait for a recharge. Okay. I had the drones rebuild the conservatory exactly as it was before. I was so happy to see it standing there again, its glass filtering the beautiful daylight of this magical place. When it was done, for a moment I, th I almost thought things were back to normal. I thought maybe I would just walk inside and start again like nothing had happened. And though I know that's not the case, it was still so nice to finally be home again. Okay, so whoever left these drones behind, it was their home first. Uh I feel so something on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Although there's a lot of boom plots on the ground already. Yep. Okay, oh, to harvest. Someone's angry. A bunch of them are angry. Okay. I'll catch a few of you then to feed the angry ones. Speaking of... You said feed, he said you smacked his face with it! Okay, yeah, they're calming down. Okay. We need some of these. Oop, one more angry one. Okay. Uh, yeah, a quick Ultimate. snack does wonders for their uh, <laughs> for their attitudes. Oh dear. Potomy is glad we don't see the slimes inside. Oh, is glad we don't see the shickles inside the slime. Yeah. Oh, two more angry ones. Only one of those to go. So sorry for the rest. Okay. Now, let's set up a farm here. Let's put this in the garden here. And we'll need to find something uh, to mix these with. I'll go with just I'll go with just pinks for the moment, unless we find honey slimes perhaps. Okay. Might need to put up the uh... high walls on those already. 
Okay. Yeah, but for that you need more need. <clears throat> and also it's realized. We see a wild honey slime, either captured or feed it bangos. Yep, so we can get a bunch of plorts of it. And then yeah, use and those to make honey combos. Exactly. And also, hello, pizza. Hey, pizza, how are you doing today? Drink. Come on. Yeah, give me those. Okay, one of them is still angry. And I think most of the boom plorts have just been getting eaten by the hunters. Oop. Sneaky little bastards. Because we have a lot less of those than the uh, than the hunter plorts. Oh well. Currently, yes. <clears throat> And yeah, uh, I'm doing pretty decent pizza. Okay. I'm doing decent as well. You want veggies and nectar? You'll just uh, take let's anything. See here. Uh, from God of Pizza. I'm good for a second. I thought Drakir was not here because, like the little set, setting men or whatever it's called, copy up and it covered Drakir <laughs> menu. Okay. Here we go. They'll keep them uh, fed for a while. I'm not sure what they're talking about, actually. Yeah, they had a pop-up cover you up. Oh. How many of those? 20. Okay. And now with that done... I think we can head out and go get some new st uh, some new slimes. Let's see. Is this going well? Okay. Out of the pool with you. Okay. Now, let's see if we can find anything new. Let's see. We have a bunch of Largos that still need to be fed. This honey one here, a Tanuki one there, a bat over there, and a rock slime there. So we'll just pick up whatever fruits and veggies and such that we can along the way. I think I put all the slimes are trying to escape. I'll take one of you with... Actually, I can just pick any of you up on the, on the way back if need be. Okay, and if we have any escape attempt, we can just catch them on the uh, when we get back. Uh, let's see, pizza. Uh, da, da, da. Basically, yeah, I think a picture would explain better. I'll just be lurking for a bit. Okay. Uh, all right. Hmm. Bunnies. Let's see. I don't think there's too many hidden things for us to find around here anymore. There is still these that we do need. Let's see. <laughs> it's a stack of them. Mm. The resources we can dump off at the resource points that we've set up here and there. Let's see. Ember Valley, Knights... Okay, it shows how many of those orbs we found. I'm not sure if that was shown before. I don't think, I think, I think that's new. Some deep brine. Okay, we're already forming Largos around here. Now then. Any more food and such? Yep. There. Okay, some fruits. Okay. All the carrots are already eaten and still need to regrow, it seems. Okay. There, there. Get a bit more jelly stone. The statues just spat out a slime at you. Yep, they've been jumping out of there for quite a bit. Let's see. Oh, these are grown. I'll take them. Hmm. Hello. Stony Hen. 
Hmm. I don't think we have one of those at the base. Oh, yeah, oh hello. Hello. And what do we get? Okay, Emerald Cypress. Little decoration. Always nice to have. Okay. Hmm. Oh, more carrots. Yeah, for the moment, I think we'd best be just looking around for foods for the Largos, trying to get them fed, and, well, get resources wherever we find them, like here. Only two this time. Okay. Yep, right. <laughs> For a moment, I thought that was another resource, but no, just a tabby for it. Uh, let's see, pizza. Oh, by the way, I posted the picture in the Discord, look here. Also, Helian. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that. I about to shake. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. It's the nest. Oop, some more fruits. Mm. All right, then. Anything else around? There's that geyser used for launching ourselves up. Oh, you mean the damn wool uh, little task bar? Where the old play hog will all that is. <laughs> okay. Hey, does it really hide me that much? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see why, how he could hide me when I end up speaking. Hmm. Uh, I'm a bit unsure of which direction to head into first, but we're closer to this teleporter. So, might as well go here. Uh... Hello. <laughs> Put a chicken in the freaking wall. Okay. Some more foods for the hungry Largos. Okay. Yep. Even more. I should probably look at getting the upgrades, but for the moment, just getting new getting new slime types into the farm and just dealing with the Largos is probably going to be the best thing we can do. Yep. <laughs> also, I think I remember this game giving us a bit of slowdown here and there, especially with my avatar, which does not seem to be the case anymore. Yeah, no, you did fix that uh, as well uh, at the other time, but you were able to fix that. Or at least reduce the effect greatly. Yeah. Okay. The more food, the better, even though we are closer to a veggie lago than a fruit lago. Okay, still every little bit will help for the ones that we can get to. Especially if we keep finding a bunch of <laughs> carrots all over the place. Um, I think we just missed one of those damn... Golden cat slimes again. And maybe. Hmm. As I saw too bad, uh, something just disappear into thin air. Yeah, too bad, but we we've got a good amount of money that we can make from just the amount of floors that we can sell. Oh yeah. Let's see. Have you dropped this room? Yeah, it's out in the open, so I'm pretty sure we've covered it before. Or yeah, interacted with it. did say you could speak to it. Yeah, but we can do that to the ones we have found and what, the ones we haven't. Alright, just making sure. Not you. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, I think it's called a toss... Well, it's called a toss ball, right? Yeah, the, the... When they... When three of them are mixed... When three slime types are mixed together, it's called tar with uh, two R's, yes. yes. No, no, not that. Uh, no, not that bar. No. <laughs> We're talking about the, the things 
on the video where you have play, pause, the cogwheel thing and all that. Is that called a taskbar? Uh, yeah. The one you can have at the bottom, though, you can also put them up to the right or left. Or even the top, I believe. Did not know that. Let's see. Wait, was that there before? It, it, it's subtle, but it, not not too subtle. But I'm not sure if that wet effect uh, was in the game before. Oh sure. Yeah. Hello. There we go. You still need a lot more. Hmm. Bath and crystal slimes and tar already. Okay. Okay, that looks new! Yeah, the reaching out and such, they've been able to do that in the first game as well. It's just more detailed now. Okay. I don't remember even to reach out, I only remember those jumping and biting. <laughs> yeah, probably because whenever we, they pop up, I just absolutely bail. <laughs> Pizza, so cute. Oh my god, I could not uh, play this game. I would just stand in front of these slimes for so many hours just to admire the cuteness. <laughs> there, there. Let's see, anything to find around here? I'm heading back this way. Hmm. As long as I can find food for the Largo, I'm good. But we've done a circle. Okay. Now, I very much doubt that six carrots is going to be enough to feed these greedy bastards. But always, a, yeah, better to try than to not. Hmm. What was that for? Who call the adorable slimes bastards? You almost jumped over the edge. And there we go. Hmm. There's a lot of rocky area over here. It doesn't seem too accessible. Maybe something more is planned for that, or maybe it is all supposed to be decoration. Is there any place we can just get up there? Hmm. So there might be a thing or two hidden there, because the developer knows that the fans will try every path they can to get into other areas. Are that area get to later when you have more upgrades? Maybe. For now, we can get up this high. Okay. There is plant life. There's phosphorus. Okay, and a bunch of bubble slimes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, pizza. He looks so goofy. Oh my god, this game could just make like a billion dollars just for me buying plushies of all the slimes. So cute, I cannot. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh god. Yeah, it is adorable, but it is surprisingly relaxing. Yep. Oh. Till the tall slimes arrive. Yeah, then it's running time. Running like the <laughs> running in the nineties. <laughs> hmm. What? Yeah, that's a song. Okay, there's nothing much more here from the looks of it. Hmm. Maybe stuff is planned to be put underneath this also. What the heck is all of that? Oh, what the heck is that? That's another, that's another region. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Not going to risk that, but I am going to go around to take a look at that uh, tabby, Largo. Hmm. Yeah, I sort of feel like more more that... Uh... We need more upgrades. Yeah, and for that we need more plorts, and for that we need more slimes in our base. Or rather, more different types of slimes. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, back to you. This time, when we exit the cave here, we go left instead of right. Now, stepped into some of these crystal shards. And a geyser? Some... Geyser, geyser? Geyser, Earth, I think. Earth. Let's see, wait. Okay, we'll have to go over the wall then. It's pizza. When the first Slime Rancher game came out, I barely ever heard people talk about it, but the second one I heard, I heard a lot of people talk about. Hmm. Let me but see. Is there any place I can I get enough is, heights? Maybe people love the first game. Yeah. Can I get there just short? Hmm. Is there anywhere else I can get over the walls then? But yeah, this game and the previous both are just good. And okay, that's why there's an opening here. So we just use that to get up here. More crystals and rocks Oop, and bats. Okay, there we go. And what is that? A signpost? Looks like a signpost, yeah. No, it's uh, wind catchers. Okay. Well, wind socks, more like. And this one's new. When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I thought that somehow I would prove myself. I would prove to my parents that my choice was the right one, and they would forgive me for not continuing their legacy. But that's not how it worked out. And before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch, and, and I just couldn't face them. So I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Hmm. Okay. Well, I doubt this will be enough, but it, it'll be a start. See, so yeah, another Lago to get rid of. And a new area yes. behind it. Yep. And yes, I did. I just named the thing. Rayfield. <laughs> Yes, it's a field. Oh, hello there. Uh, <laughs> this stuff hello. is pre pre prehistoric. Let me, let's take a look at that. Uh, decorations, no. Uh, resources. Primordial oil. Found deep below the surface of the Rainbow Islands, quarries, and magma fields, primordial oil is an ancient substance containing a wide array of organic compounds, making it perfect as a base for many slime science creations. Okay. And I, now I kind of missed what we got out of that, but it was probably a decoration. I'll take those. Okay. Uh, pizza... Nope. <laughs> Let's see, I forgot the name of whatever it was called nice in the, in the sky, uh, night sky called again. Uh, uh, Borealis. Yep. Aurora, Aurora Borealis. Borealis. Uh, the, the looks are majestic and all. My dream is to look at those in real life while listening to calm music like this. Okay. From what I've heard, you don't need to go too far north for that. Something about them becoming visible in more and more closer to the uh, equator or something. Yeah, like it happened very on a very rare occasion. Do I could not see it due to the clouds and all that. But I think. The folk in uh, Scandinavia go, the more likely you're able to see them at night. Okay. So we have another Largo to feed. Another oh. meat one. Hey, well, Glacier Boy! Um, let's see, the tent must hop on it and hide off. Okay, see you next time, Glacier, and sleep well. Yeah, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Radiant ore, almost overlooked this. Yeah, we need that. And with this one... Conservatory lamp. Okay. Alright. Uh oh. Just the, the look on... The look on the, the slime's face. 
when they are scared like that. It... Hey. <laughs> no, no, no need to overdo it. <laughs> I've been waiting to use them, so I will use them. Okay, bats like fruits, so we've got a good amount for that. And he's still flying! <laughs> Wait, I think you should put something. Hmm? Warning! Deadly cuteness ahead? No. Angry slimes. Because these are feral. I just saw something! I think you need to do it. He tried to grab the flying one! But he got picked up by the flying one! <laughs> bye bye! Yep. Thank you. Right. Hmm. We must not have been here before. Yeah, because Primordial was, was new earlier. Boom. Gotta love the sound they make when they just get launched. Like, boom. Well, those new hands. And those are Briar hands. I'm not sure if we have those. But we already are a bit full pull on our inventory so let's not go into that that's a bit hot on <laughs> the feet yeah careful now captain yeah. i said careful okay let's get ba let's go back and look for the bat logo so we can feed it all of our fruits and have some more space in our inventory then we can go get the briar hands and such. I probably shouldn't have fed both of the stone hands that we had to the lab to the tabby. I almost said labby for some reason. Now I'm kind of now I'm kind of curious if we'll ever see a dog slime. Hmm. If they if the developers watch the stream, they probably may do now. <laughs> Let's see. We still need to find a map of this area as well. Let's see. Okay, the, the ones that stay down like this, we've talked before. It's the ones that get active and start fluttering up. Those are the ones we haven't read before. All right. Oh, fire slimes. We, we don't have those, though. Nope. We probably need to make build the damn thing first. Yep, not that. Don't fight it that. <laughs> and then just a shower of bat slimes. Nope. And wait. Oh, there we go, Briar Hen. <laughs> yeah, they're, oh, they were going for the fruits. The chicken. Their, their diet oh, is fruits. Um, <laughs> all right, true, but still, you can see how I look like. One chicken versus an army. Yep. <laughs> okay, what? Immediately we find some more ore. I'm going to need to put up one of those deposit pots around here somewhere as well. See, lots of fruits here. Oh, honey. Uh... Another briar hen. Hmm. Oh, hello. That, oh, that's that's the map. Okay. There we go. That's going to make this place a lot more navigable. Uh, I beg your pardon? Navigatable, whatever. And there's another Largo blocking the way. Okay, now I get what I mean. Let's see, that's a crystal bat. Okay. okay stocking up on fruits. Though I don't think we have any at the moment. I didn't. I think there's a drone nearby. Hmm. 
There it is. It. Uh oh. Can we not get up high enough for that? But we can find this. Tall magma clump. Okay. At one point or another, I should probably get to decorating the observatory and such. <laughs> what are the tabbies running off with the carrots, even though it doesn't eat those? Adorable. Let's see. I never managed to conclude if the plasma, if the prisma waves caused all this lava to erupt from the surface, but I believe it did. The rainbow grass and iridescent rocks are all lovely to see, and the ecosystem seems to coexist with it to some degree. But this lava, this is the breaking point. My guess is it started like it always does. It creeps up a few degrees over the years, and you hardly notice, and then one day you realize you're cooking. Ugh, I wish I had a dog to pet right now. Prisma waves? Okay. What is prisma waves? I feel like I have heard of prisma waves before. Maybe. Hmm. Wait. There's a good chance that whoever has been writing those logs is an alien. That they're getting translated somehow. Hmm. Hold on. Do you have an area called Prisma or something, or was it about the final area that was in Lost King called something along with Prisma? Maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> oh, must some more really? ore. Oh, bloody heck. A sneeze, a stuck sneeze. I thought it was, uh, I was about to sneeze, but then it went away. <laughs> yeah, this could be really annoying. Yeah, especially if you're prepared for it, like, like it's about to become a big one. Like, I, I think maybe everyone who been with this sneeze may have heard how loud I sneeze. Yeah. Uh, let's see, pizza. I don't ever have dreams, so just wish everybody else has sweet and nice dreams. Yeah, I rarely have dreams myself, for some reason. I have bad dreams now and then. Hmm. Let's see if this leads anywhere. Nope. Hmm. Gotta be careful. Because if we fall, we lose all of our stuff. Yeah, this is what I'll say. Go back. Don't risk this loot. See, just normal chickens. What's the recharge? Okay, another pod. Potted plants. Okay. Let's see. Ardent. Let's see. Oh, there's another pod. And a pot. And something else to gather. Mm, yeah. Okay. Lava dust. That's new. Magma pool. Hmm. Let's see. Don't think we'll have use of this. Ew, what the heck? Oh, wait, we already have Lava Dusty Crab. I thought it was new. <laughs> My bad on that. Normal chicken. A little fruit. What the heck? Now, none of the Largos we have found, at, or none of the remaining Largos, are fruit eaters, I believe. So no real need to carry maybe that around. Plus we have we have farms at, at at home that we can get a good amount of fruit from again. You don't waste food. Let's see. Oop, some more. Oh dear. Now this would be a good spot to put one of the depositors down. Oh yeah. Just need oh. to make one. 
And yeah, another passageway blocked. Meat. I'm, I'm not feeding you the briar hens. Because we want those for our yeah, for our coop. Hmm. Are we not gonna feed chat to it either? It's a milky slime. Oh, hello oh. there. And goodbye. Or to resist, okay? Like, we seriously need some more sound effects of this. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, how many can we have? I think I'm no. I think at base without paying four. Hmm. Only four. I'd need to double check, um, though I'm not really interested in uh, in getting Discord Nitro yeah. just for more sound effects. I uh, I agree with you. But I will mean the full hot one foot, hot foot. we really would need to think about. I missed this. Okay. Got a good amount of resources. We cleared out one Largo, or more, we cleared out a Gordo, that's what they're called. And we found another one. Okay. Let's go deposit all of this stuff. Um, right, it's up on the hill here. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Now, we have one vegetable, one meat, and then over here we have the honey, which is uh, which is fruit, yeah, and then the nuki eat everything, I think. Wait, okay. I just realized, if we feed that big honey one a lot of fruit... Yep, we can get ourselves a bunch of honeys. However, someone threw all the fruit into lava. We have a we have a farm with their favorite food, of which uh, we only need to require to feed them half. So we can go get that. Let's see, you still wasted food. Stony hen, stony hen, stony hen. Okay, going the right way. Yes. Okay. I'm not too sure if we had this on the map before that showed which way we were looking. But it's it's a good thing to have all the same. Now, are you going to pop from this? No. Didn't really expect you to, but oh well. Hmm. Wait, is anything down there? Oh, hello. Hmm? You have legs. Yep. I'm pretty sure we didn't in the first one. A happy statue. No. Not seeing anything over there. Okay. But yeah, always a nice bit if you can actually look down and see yourself, so that you're not just a pair of floating arms. Yeah. And that's a lot of tar, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Holy! Yeah, you might want to <laughs> run, kitty. Uh, uh, a bit too late for that, Captain. Some heartbeats. Hmm. Yep. More ore there. Now, I, I like that the, the music for Taurus being near is a lot more, you know, like this. It's, it's active, but not really 
like uh, oh uh, oh my fucking god get run get run 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 and such type yeah so it is it's still a good news that does, does tell you danger is near yep jellystone okay you have one pink plot yeah, I'll just chuck that one. I was thinking about feeding that to one of the species that we don't have as Lagos. Do we have, do we have access to so many pink ones at home? No, we don't actually have any at home, I think. Uh, I meant a better entrance in the wild. <laughs> yeah, we can get a lot of uh, pink lords from there. What was that? Okay, looks like all of the tar have gotten themselves killed, or despawned. Oh, I'm sure I saw a gaze or distance or something just flew by. It's, things can get launched by them, so it might have just been something getting launched. I hope so, for otherwise it looked like there was a very big wing or something that did not look slime. Okay. Now, is this going to finally sate your hunger? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> hmm. I should maybe try and make note of how much is actually needed to feed those ones. And yeah, see, chicken got launched. Mm hmm. I yeah, think but it's... that was not what I saw. Okay. I Again, think I the quarter is about to pop. Hmm. Okay, maybe some yeah. rare events that I just overlooked. Yeah, that or I also mistook uh, the top of a geyser for a wing. Okay. So it was a very really quick thing. And uh, little, if, if it was had been a chicken, I would probably uh, describe it as a, a round object. Odd onion? I wouldn't trust this onion even less than a normal onion. <laughs> Odd onions only grow in the craggy crevices of Rainbow Island. However, you'll never encounter an, un an odd onion patch. Instead, odd onions can be found randomly in other veggie patches. Think of it like a treasure hunt where the treasure is onions. <laughs> okay, deposit an odd onion into a garden's depositor and straight the carrots will begin to grow. However, there's a good chance you'll get some odd onions in the crop as well. Okay, I think, All I believe right. before they grew alongside the, the heartbeats. I guess hmm. we will plant it, have a chance to get the odd onions. Yeah. Let's see. Might as well grab a few things whilst we're here. It's a lot of pink ports, so I'll grab those up. Um. Yeah, I, I saw the tar. So, oop. Getting out of there. Bunch more pinks. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's head back. We can stock up on foods. Introduce the new... Uh, the new chickens to the coop and maybe make some uh, pink largos with uh, these since we didn't come back with a new species yet okay Take a few more. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we'll be making a full series on this once it's fully released. Uh, more like we'll continue to stream it. That, that's how we did with the first Slime Rancher as well. Oh, true. Not like we're going to restart or anything, because let's be honest, the, the, explore, the exploring is part of the gameplay with everything. 
Is this just oh, a normal yeah. hen? It is, it is. Normal hen. Hmm. I wonder if we could get a compass to appear at the top of the screen or something, though that may be a bit more invasive or such. It might be a part of an upgrade for all we know. Could be. So grabbing as many of those as we can. New message. Okay, just as we get back as well. Nice. Very nice. Okay, who is it from? Victor. Ah, uh, Beatrix. I was cleaning out the lab and found this. Perhaps you have some use for it? I believe it's still in working order. You know what they say. One person's trash is another person's hastily issued gift. <laughs> Enjoy. At least he's honest about stuff like this. I agree. The spontaneity, the spontaneity scares me too. A blue home portal. Okay. Hmm. Okay, seems they all ran out of foods. Okay. Um. Yeah. I said we put most likely put a silo here, but for now let's put this one. And, oh, this place needs to be cleaned out. Okay, they definitely allow for more birds per pen now. For better or worse. Hmm. Let's see, I don't think any species or any slime species actually likes normal chickens, so we might uh, we might be good with getting rid of those. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Some veggie and nectar. How did you get out? Okay, you like the sea hens, I believe. And you are part tabby, so you like the the briars. Uh, to keep you happy. Let's just feed you the normals as well. This is a mm. massacre over and then we're gonna feast. <laughs> Okay, fruits. We need these for the honey slime. Oop, need to clean this out. What's fun about this game is that none of this actually gets to a point where it feels like a chore. Yeah, this is a good thing. Hmm. Let's see, I don't believe also... puzzle slimes can form largos. Uh... Hmm. Fruits? Anything? Do you think Slime Rancher would work as a series? Like an uh, animated series? It could work. Let's see. Yeah, it, it probably be more towards Slice of Life relaxed the series, but it probably could work. Yeah. Uh, maybe more like a more chill version of Gravity Falls or such. Sort of. It might work. Okay. Yeah, let's go feed those crystal slimes. We kind of forgot that. Hmm. I'll keep them re roaming here for the moment since it's just a lot easier to care for. Uh, hmm. There. Oh wait, I, <laughs> I planted these here it's because I wanted to put feed them with mix them with something that uh, prefers fruit. Um, don't have the money to set up a new one. Can I clear this one out? Hmm. I mean, I was thinking about putting this honeys here. Hmm. For now, let's put this here instead. Uh, yeah, we do put the honeys it... here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, no, man. Yeah. I, I thought you, you just removed the entire garden. Okay. Uh. <laughs> this is going to be overkill for <laughs> the crystal gordo, but better to have way too many you know, <laughs> vegetables than too few, huh? Yeah. Okay. Any boom plorts? No boom plorts. Okay. Well, they did give you boom. <laughs> All right. We're short on puddle plorts, I think. So let's put these. With noisy scooter going by. Okay. Anything we can make at the moment? A home portal, perhaps? Let's see. Oh, we, yeah, we can make this one. Or can... That's enough uh, money. Okay. Isn't this this one? Okay, we need some more jelly stone and deep brine for that one. And, oh, we already have one of these with us. Blue warp deposits. Okay. Hmm. That would be... This would be decent to put next to um, an area for... Um, an area where we put our silos and such. Yeah. Bingo. There's one more area we haven't looked here. Do we have this one open or not? And if so, did we put any slimes over here? Okay, it is open. And we didn't put any slimes here. I don't hmm. remember this area at all. See, the other places have had a drone hidden in them as well. Maybe this one as well. Hmm. Fruits that grow on their own here. <laughs> There's the other one with the crystal slimes. Hmm. If there's a drone here, I'm not seeing it. Or hearing it. And up here. Okay, that's somewhere over there. There we go. Oh, there's something. A, a pod, at least, from the looks of it. I'm not seeing a drone. Also, how are we to go get back from there? Yeah, I say don't. Hmm. That screams need more upgrades. Okay, at least we know that there's one there. And we can, well, try to remember that it's there. Big emphasis on try. Yeah, we can try. Oh, Lord, this music is to be too relaxing. <laughs> okay, we go finish no off. No Let's grab the odd onions as well. Uh, does the... Does it say which fix? A favorite by yes, okay. Oh, I was going to be pizza written something. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure around. Uh, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. The last dream I had was a nightmare two years ago. I still remember it fully, and the storyline of the nightmare was never completed. Uh, pretty sure around 20, but probably less. I am not too sure, but one of the other servers I am in has 20. Uh, 20 watts. Needing to feed the uh, large gross that or... Uh, I think that, that was a reference to when we talked about uh, these things. <laughs> when... Hmm. Okay, maybe yeah, I just misread things then. It would depend. Hmm. Maybe the other are all paying for the nitro thing. Could be our... Uh, or be getting boosted and such. Hmm. 
Let's see, which button was it again to see where to put stuff? Okay, T. Okay. Okay, the crystal slimes like these most, uh, but every. Uh, hello. Uh. Yolki slime. <laughs> this slime always looks on the sunny side up. Yolki slimes are a strange and elusive type of slime sometimes found near wild chickens on Rainbow Island. But unlike tabby slimes, their intent is not to hunt, but, uh, for within their warm golden center lies an enduring love for chickens. Such the power of this glowing affection that it sometimes inspires nearby hens to produce a rare delight. A giant egg full of chicks and yolki plorts. Okay. Yolki slimes can only inspire the production of giant eggs when nearby chickens are able to reproduce. They are not miracle workers. So if hens and roost rows are too crowded, giant eggs will be a rare incursion indeed. Slime ranchers should also note that giant eggs will only produce yolki plorts when they are fresh and the yolk inside is still glowing. Uh, yolki plorts are highly valued for their con concentrated nutrients, containing an extremely potent variant of vitamin D that allows people to reduce their sunlight intake for long periods of time, making them popular with cosmic pioneers, deep sea explorers, and gamers. <laughs> Saw that one coming. But though yeah. yolki plorts can replace the physical need for sunlight, they can never replace the warmth you feel when it touches your face, and the comfort it offers to know that the sun rose once more in your world. To be a stranger to that and still have hope for tomorrow would require the strongest of convictions. Hmm. Lagos, ferals. Okay. That was a good find. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to turn around and go put that in with the chickens. D do that. Actually, yeah. do that. Before we lose them. Hmm. Like, I feel like we do a lot of gamble with other tars. Run, 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 yes. run, run. Yeah, I saw the tar. Hmm. Run away from Greg. Okay. That's a very good find. That <laughs> is for damn sure. Yeah, I actually thought there was a there was a omelette or something over there. At least until I saw its eyes open. Only then I realized it was not an open egg. It was a damn slime. Here we go. Immediately, this place is overcrowded again. Um. Well, they they breed like chickens. <laughs> More like rabbits. I dare you to tell that to the chickens. Okay, okay, let's sell a batch of these. Chickens usually eat like, a lot of eggs. True. It's up to the roosters to actually fertilize them. Let's see. Uh, the next advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting. That'll help us get around a lot easier. And uh, let's see crystal plorts, flutter plorts. Uh, we've got enough for that. We probably should grab that as well for taking care of cars when we're more yeah. inland. Rock, silk sands, and vac tank. Tabby plorts. Wild honey and a jetpack drive. Oh yeah, I remember some of these. Some of these parts we find in the pods and such. So that's a good reason to go looking around for more of them. Honey plorts. Okay. Let's sell one more batch, and we'll be able to buy. It. We'll, we should be able to make one of the one of the teleporters then. This should make it easier to get back home. Oh yeah. And I think I'm actually going to remove one of these here because it, you just keep overfilling it. 
Not yet. There. <laughs> it doesn't actually hurt them since they just dissolve back into this slime sea. How many must be made? Okay. Okay, there's three species of slime we haven't discovered yet, judging from the ant. Okay. I thought we will have more we're not discovered yet. Okay, there we go. Fabricate. Okay. And now we can put that down somewhere to make it easier to get back. I'll probably put it down somewhere in the Amber Valley. Maybe next to this one, though that is maybe a bit close. Maybe I should put that down more over here somewhere. Or in the next area. Speaking of the next area, we need to feed the kitty. Mm. And no, not that one. Um, let's clear out. No, not the stone hens. The normal hens. Hen hen. One escaped. I should probably also get rid of a few roost trows, but I'll wait with that until we're done here. And you are on parole for the moment. <laughs> okay, this probably won't be enough for the tabby, uh, for the tabby gordo, but it'll be a start. Plus, we can start a count on how much we can. Yeah, we need to feed that one. Wait, why are you carrying out the odd onions? Because the crystal slimes love those, and well, ah. one of the gordos is a crystal. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. So if we can get it to pop with those, then we can use the the rest of the vegetables for the uh, <clears throat> for the tanuki slime. Okay. Was that <laughs> that one was still just humping the rock? And yes, I will not change my wording on that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh dear. I, okay. I feel like Crystal I, Tabby. I, haven't I usually end up being tied very early every time we see Miss Slime Rancher? Uh, most of the time, yeah. yeah it is a pretty uh, relaxing game, after all. Oops. Yeah, to the point it might be uh, sometimes maybe a bit too relaxing. <laughs> For much of the music, it sounds like music you could actually play if you, uh, while you try to sleep. Yeah. Another Yolki. Okay. I think we only really need one at the moment, though. But maybe we can grab that one on the way back. Just need to remember that it's there. Okay. Still no real method to mark the map, but oh well. Uh, anyway. Okay. So that's around here. I'm curious what uh, Yulki you know, Largos would look like. Giant eggs, of course. But just what how that would look with other features mixed in. Good question. Hmm. Just keep a frying pan away from them. <laughs> Timing. Okay. These should be enough to pop this one, I think. He's already looking plenty overstuffed. Damn it. Really? What's this? 
No, it's gone is what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that. Oh, what's this? As long as those things don't have uh, blueprints in them, fine. Let's see. But if they do have blueprints that are easily fall off a cliff and make them unretrievable, mm -hmm. that's it. Get it! Yeah. What are those? Pomegranates. <laughs> okay. Points for the pun. And it seems to have bailed already. Okay. Yeah. A new so veggie for us. Yeah, one of the slimes like it, if I'm right. Do I f oh no, I must have misread it then. Oh, what's a pomegranate, not pomegranate? <laughs> okay, that gave us access or easier access to all of this area. Now let's have a look what this is. There. Rich in minerals. Favored by baddie slimes. Okay. The pomegranate is as mysterious as it is ancient, a fruit that grows only in the dark caves beneath the earth. It shine, it grows without sunlight, without warmth. It should not be, and yet it is. A living paradox, or a symbol of nature's resilience, of the ability of, for life to thrive even in the unlikeliest of spaces? Pretty deep stuff. Okay, we yeah, we are making a garden right. in the den with that. What are the animotics there? <laughs> Uh, yeah, just deposits in or in a uh. garden. Hmm. Let's take a bit of a look around here. And then we go feed the cats. Or, well, the bigger cats. Um, which one's bigger, Oscar or Inky? Uh, Oscar is the bigger of those two. Hmm. Oddly Oscar quiet in this boy. place. Uh, he's also a rather annoyed boy because uh, Simba got back again. And he's currently trapped in the, the extension. Oh, oh, hello. You want a boom slime, I'm pretty sure of that. Where boom plorts. Hmm. And suddenly. That'll open this up. And there's probably something of use in there. Okay. I think we may have been able to get in here before. Oop. And off it goes. Okay, that's some more cash in pockets. Ooh. Ooh, let's not fall into the you slime missed. sea ourselves. There we go. Okay. At least we come pre-prepared for that one because if I remember correctly, rock slimes like the heartbeats the most. Another tanuki. And okay, we're over here now. <laughs> With a lot of pinkies. Make the tongue? Yep. Uh, let's see. Anywhere in here to get me a bit of height. Oh, I can get onto those. There we go. Okay. And he's sitting on top of a geyser that's pretty sure to launch us into or onto the roof here. Okay. Let's see. 
Here we go, Harold. Yeah, that's filling him up way faster than the other fruits. 25. So that would be 50 vegetables normally. And whatever vase was in there broke as well. Another tanuki. Okay. <laughs> that was just lucky. Oop. Another fruit. Or new thing, at least. And the jetpack drive. Nice. Okay. Let's get rid of these. Prickle pear. Uh, not that. Let's see. This is a fruit that knows how to fight back. Prickle pears are a fruit that know how to put up a fight. With a thick leathery skin and covered in sharp barbs, they're an acquired taste, to be sure. But those that put forth the cautious effort will find one of the sweetest fruits in the known universe hiding within. And they are like my dervish slimes. Okay, I've actually forgotten about those. Have you seen any dervish slimes? Not yet. They were mostly in the deserty area last time, I believe. In okay, empty nest. Oh, hello. Wind chimes. Hmm. I should nice. maybe get some of those at one point. And okay, this is the, the door is just a shortcut. Okay. Yeah, let's be honest. Shortcuts are good. Yeah. Okay. What exactly? What? What killed that one? The geyser. Yeah, the geyser wasn't active, so maybe this was the little, the little one. Hmm. Either way, let's head back. Okay. okay. For a moment, I mistook the tinkling in the music there. Okay, we need two booms and plorts here for the shortcut. I almost I, I mistook the music there for a second for the sound of a, a money slime. Oh, dear. You, 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 is that something between you and the money slime? Yeah, beyond the fact that uh, it's on my wallet. <laughs> yes, I have a slime rancher wallet. What of it? <laughs> okay. Give me a few more of those, please. Okay, yet another tanuki. We're, we're seeing those a lot more often now. Oh, yeah. Okay. This way. And, oh, what was the thing? We, we, we should not have them in base due to the rude uh, steel stuff? That's... Oh, that's the map. Wait, where we found these earlier then? Uh... Uh, we we can't we can't hold the uh, money slimes and such. Uh, it's the uh, tabbies are the ones that would steal stuff, or at least play stuff and uh, play with stuff. Okay. And then the, the, the tanukis, yeah, th those will steal. Yes. The <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll need 20 more chickens eat to Oscar, get this one to eat. pop. Yes, I named it Oscar. Uh, let's have a look. Can we Oscar is growing. Oh, we got a few of these already. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think I'll save this one for the other side still. Since for now, we need to go back and, yeah, get the honey slimes. Okay, and of course, there's tar here. Yeah, and I think it's better to put out the portal and I'm over. 
In inaccessible land area? Yeah. Yeah, accessible. Or inaccessible, since it would be more difficult to get back from there. Okay. Wait, yeah, now that we know that we need exactly 25 foods for a Gordo to pop, we can plan things out for the remaining ones better. Wait, 25? Yeah, uh, 50, but 25 it's their, if it's their favorite. All right, but I wanted to say, did you say 50 earlier? Hmm. Uh, we need to go back. There's nothing much to find for us to find around here at the moment. Um, we can get these plorts and just deposit them. Probably could have done that earlier as well. Oh, I think it. that's I also like why I put this one here, because there's just so many slimes spawning here normally. And it's a slime central. But yeah, I feel like I'm kind of glad that I did not bring my pillow and blanket over there this time for... If I had, I probably would have fallen asleep on the street. Yeah. Oh, nice. this game is so relaxing. Deep. I mean, too relaxing. It makes me wonder, maybe it's better to sleep in it on the afternoons. <laughs> Could be. Maybe, maybe we can put this game in on a Saturday afternoon. Oh, maybe. Okay. Uh, so we still oh, yeah, need right. to move Valheim streams uh, to uh, evening or afternoon. And I'd forgotten we'd put in that we had that uh, portal. A new message. It seems those pop up every uh, have a chance of popping up whenever we get close here. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need another coop. Yep. Another escapee. Wait, another um, coop or another coop? Like, are they gonna see. revolt? Yeah, probably not, but uh, let's see. This way. Yep. Yeah, the, the reason we'd want to have slimes as favorite foods is because that will lead to them giving double plorts and such. Yep. And oh, holy! <laughs> Um, uh, you see what I'm seeing, right? Yep. A oh, poor tree. Let's gather these up for sale and for storage. Hmm. Maybe I should put those uh, depositors up in the side areas as well. Because then it would be a lot easier to just deposit everything instead of running back and forth between the lab. Yeah. And if the depositors will take things into the silo, that's just good as well. Yeah, there's probably a type we can use for that, yeah. But for now... We only have access to the ones that will deposit them into the, the, well, the research deposit. Hmm. All right. But now, let's sell some of these. And the rest, we put over here. There we go. Anything we can make? We can upgrade this one, so let's do that. Okay, now we need cotton plorts, oil, wild honey, and a power chip. And we can get the water tank. There we go. Pulse wave, flutter, jellystone, crystal plorts. Make a splash. A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve those terrible tar slimes. He ordered the garden scrub also grow faster. Okay. That's a nice tip. Right, then. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if gay the, the, the gazes can destroy the uh, tall slime since it's water. 
All right, let's see. Odd onions were Crystal's favorites. Let's see. Gadget inventory. Open your gadget inventory to select one of your newly acquired gadgets. Let's beat these a bit. I guess we have a harvest. Mm. Still got in. Okay. Open wide! There we go. Let's see. Okay, that was being assistant there. Placing gadgets. Okay, oh, it's, it's just going over the tutorial again. Oh, that's how it... Okay. In the first game, I thought the gracious were kind of unnecessary for... You can only put them on very specific spots. It's gonna make you go without even bother, but you need to put other things on spots anyway that you need more than decoration. So, I'm kinda happy that this means we finally can use decorations without sacrificing something practical. Yeah. There we go. That's it. You're a get it pro now. Discover more blueprints in the world and craft them back at the fabricator. Okay, nice little spots. Okay. I would Let's expect see. us one day to return and see there's a slime on each chair. Okay, we have weather effects now. Okay, that's Ooh. new. Whether a light drizzle or a heavy downpour, rain can make any corner of Rainbow Island a little more dramatic. But rain can also keep tar at bay. Naturally water uh, wild fruits, veggies, and crops, and delight puddle slimes everywhere. Moody, dreary, cozy, wonderful. Yeah, rain is many things. Also, we should... Uh, what the... How did... Wow? Oh, less. Need one of the free room in... I don't think any of the free. Uh, wait, what? What is. The ring. Wait, did one of them. S wait, did one of the ring tails sneak out somehow? Wait, ain't, ain't ring tail the Tanuki one? Yep. The smug little bastards. Oh, oh. No. Now there goes the flutters as well. Oh, okay, there's, there's some flutters around still. But now I need more bunnies. Okay, wh what? Yeah, this just shows how quickly things can devolve here, and even the water you know, slimes are freaking the hell out. Okay, get off. Get out. Okay. Hey, water! Get back here, you two. You can shoot. Do you have water to shoot? Back into your pits. Okay, how the heck did that happen? Well, we did find a ring tail plot. Yeah. So, somehow, one might have gotten out. It, yeah, there, there were more. In, I think there were more than three in here before. Let me actually look up a thing here. Um, Ringtail. Nothing but trouble. Theft under cover of darkness is their favorite hobby, and they delight in getting away with as much as possible before the sun rises. The reason for it is exclusively moonlit uh, crimes free is that ringtails have a peculiar condition that transforms them into stone and exposed to sunlight. And while we're not saying this is an ancient curse, they're definitely the type of slime who would have an ancient curse if that was a thing. Let's see. This one rail tango slime is capable of wiping out an entire farm if given a time. And they offer nothing in return because a ringtail slime stops producing plorts when it would otherwise be full. If you plan on ranching these ravenous rascals, keep an eye on the mischievous expression to know when to avoid feeding them. 
Okay, it does actually say about them being able to sneak out. Hmm. Okay. Are there any flutters left around here? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. I think there's just some. I think someone will buy the shares. Okay. Yeah, they had one sitting in one of the sheds earlier. Did they not transform or did they flee the farm? They probably got killed or something. Hmm. Okay, well that's annoying. They're close to the end of the stream as well. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like we should not have a ring tail for the... Men sure they would... Uh, Try pranks. Uh, it's more that uh, they'll keep eating even after, and but that they won't stop. Uh, that they, they won't give plorts then. Hmm. Let's see. Beatrix, I have something I must share with you about the AI. As you know, we've been exchanging questions with one another. All this back and forth became faster and more casual over time, almost like a natural conversation. As soon as we were simply evolving and adapting to the style of talk it, deserved, it observed in me, but then something happened. Well, we'd begun playing games of Go as we talked. Uh, a way I further, uh, could further test its intellect, and no doubt how it could test mine. These games would go long into the night, and so were our conversations, feeling more and more natural, even though I knew that the entity I was speaking to was just a complex collection of code. And then one day, as the sun was rising, it suggested just one more game. I said, certainly, but I needed to make myself a cup of coffee if I were to stay awake for it. And it replied, me too. I just stared at the screen, not knowing what to say. But then suddenly, as if it knew that it had just done, it disconnected. I have not heard from them since, but I do hope I do, but I hope I do. Until then, I will wait. Staying busy with my work as always, asking those questions that need answers, but I will do so with the Go board ready for another game. Someday, anyway. Did you accidentally connect with someone else who isn't actually an AI? Or is the AI becoming more... humanoid? Goodbye, Beatrix. I hope to talk again soon. Or everyone has something to say. AI yep, is almost. not an AI, but an uh, alien on the other side? Maybe. And yeah, I had her I had her name wrong earlier. It's Thora, not Thea. Mochi. Hey Bea, I found something I was going to throw out, but then I just thought, hey, Bea likes old junk I don't need. I bet she would just love this. You can thank me later. Market link. Oh that that would be useful. Okay, yeah, I'm very tired, definitely for I it to market milk. <laughs> Ogden? Hey Amiga, I got you a little gift. It's not homemade, and it's not pie, and it's not a homemade pie. But I thought you would like it all the same. Same about the pie, though. Super Hydro Turrets. Yeah, we might want to install a few of those around the place now. Yeah. Did, we, did they just give us the blueprints? Yeah, just the blueprints. Uh, let's see. Doesn't give a description. Let's see, warp tech, utilities, advanced defensive ca uh, cannon that, can du that doubles the firepower against tar. Hmm. Did okay. mean water power? Okay, looks like we lost two of our power slimes. Oop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll need to go get more bunnies and butterflies. Though that actually gives us a bit of an opportunity to make to mix them with the one of the two with the crystal slimes. And speaking of, they like Ooh. these, so I could go swap around the uh, the farm over there again. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I'll need to clean up these plorts later. For now, let's head on over. Set up. Actually, we can't set up because we're <laughs> we're pretty much broke. I just uh, well. had a weird idea. Hmm? Us inserting doom music when this Taurus attacks in here in the base. Yeah, I think that would be a bit much. Yeah. Um, For me, yes. But with the copyright issue, more possibly, no. Hmm. And speaking of, as I, as I expected with the Dark Forces streams, when they got uploaded, uh, they did get a copy uh, a copy claim from a uh, for the Imperial March uh, for Star Wars music and such, but no uh, blockades or such. Of course. Hmm. Okay. Now we have a little bit more time, so let's go for the honey slime. See, see if we can pop that one. We have like uh, four minutes. Okay, all the more reason to hurry up. That, that does remind me a bit, though. I, I've been thinking about maybe trying to end the streams a bit earlier to be closer to the two hours of stream time every time. Hmm. Yeah, you mean that says we always go a bit over time when you're about to say hello for very long? Hmm. Yeah. Honey slime. Uh, okay, I'll need to make some notes for stuff for next time, so I don't forget. Oh, hello. Okay. Actually, why am I carrying these around? Only the crystals like these. Um, honey? Honey? And the lager is somewhere over there, on the other side of this wall, I presume? Oh, are you sure that's okay? Nope, right here. Honey and cotton becomes honey bun. <laughs> honey bunny, yeah. <laughs> oh, sh should we should we make that mix? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's take a quick look around here. That's the slime sea. Oh, phosphorus. Okay. Were they those just outside or something? Yep, and another one here. And that's tall pink coral. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, we can just get out here. Oh, I'm glad I'm doing it so much. <laughs> Uh, throw those out quickly. One. Oh, oh. And two. Okay. Let's get up here. Get up here. And then we can end the stream in a second. Go for someone to raid. Okay. Recharge. Okay. Now, let's make sure that we don't fall down into the slime sea. That's one. Oop, that opens this one. Okay. Shortcut back. Actually, I think I'd been wondering how to open that door, since there is no uh, receptacle on the other side. Yeah. And this opens here. Let's see, have we been here before? Is that just another shortcut? I think it's just another shortcut. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Okay. Then we have that one over there. So let's see if we can get over there. I have one minute remaining. <laughs> Less. Damn it. <laughs> Perfect bloody timing on that, huh? Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. New messages. 
And yeah, that, that means that we've lost the prickly pear and the prickly pears. And, and the, the only slimes. <laughs> okay, we, we now know again where we need to find those though, so that should be well a, a, <laughs> that should help with things. And oh hello. Oh, these are types of weather we can have here. So there's one other kind. Hmm. Uh, I... Oh, 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 I, I like this. I like this. Just... Oh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> nope. Nice attention Wind. to detail. Hold on to your plorts. <laughs> okay. Nothing beats the cool breeze of sea air that rolls through every corner of Rainbow Island, but when cool breeze becomes gusts and gales, anything that isn't rooted to the ground can find itself going wherever the wind decides to take it. And, uh... Cyclone. Dizzy as a dervish. Cyclones can form when windy weather reaches its peak, creating swirling, whirling twisters that tear through the environment. Cyclones cause chaos, flinging about food, slimes, and even ranches that are in their wake. But in all the chaos, you may just find, you may just get lucky and find some dervish slimes having the time of their lives. So that's how we could get uh, dervish slimes. And I get the feeling it might be built. Yep, it. I think it's building up to a cyclone. Okay. Uh -oh. Well, better do a quick save and quit then. And next time we can go look for those. When will that, right. when that be? Yeah, maybe next week. Maybe, yeah, more likely next somewhere next week. Uh, let's see. For now, though, we're going to look for someone to raid before we end the stream. So let me change over the screen share to Twitch. And what's with these? Okay. There must have been something changed with the ads and such because it's getting past the ad blocker. Let's see, we have a good list here, so I'll narrow it down a bit. We have Katie120, who's playing The Last of Us Part 2. Hmm. I, I might just change it because I really do not like that game. Or the fact that the developers have basically been... Uh, been... Uh, what is... what would be the words? They're only making new versions of the old Last of Us games, so yeah, I would not. They're they're kind of in their uh, death spiral. We've raided last year's recently. Uh, any? Let's let me check. Uh, Armchair General is playing Monster Hunter World. Touch Skitty Tail is playing Lethal Company. I actually bought that game, so we could see that on Mondays. Or whenever we else we may put some multiplayer streams. Oh, uh, Glenn dear. the Wolf also with Monster Hunter World. Uh, Jackson Sim is playing a game called Dark Cloud 2. Can't say I know I, that one, so let's take a peek. I recognize that. I think that's an old game. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Anyone else you see here that might be of some interest? Or shall I take a pick? I will let you take a pick for I am so sleepy. <laughs> okay, let me... Oh, Swalbe is playing Subnautica. Are they playing that with multiplayer? Because that tends to be pretty fun. Uh, oh, wait. I was, I was mixing up Subnautica with Barrow Trauma. So, yeah. Uh, not done, then. Um, let's go say hi to Jackson Sam. Uh. Let's come on and add for on a Subnautica video. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Before we start the raid, though, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza, Glacier Boy, Durban, Jess. Uh, did I miss anyone there? Pizza? Don't think so. I, I think I said Pizza. If not, thank pizza. you again, Pizza. Pizza, hmm? Glacier Boy, Durban, yes. Yeah. And was Marco here, or was, he was here during your earlier stream, I think? Yeah, I think so too. Not, not this one. Oh well. Thanks to them all the same. And I see one lurker in chat. Uh, I will check, I will compare, run, I will run your name through a list of known bots. So if, if you are not a bot, sorry. If you are, again, you don't have the mental capacity for being insulted. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. 
So you're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining this madness. <laughs> they have more calmness. But yeah, yeah, true calmness. <laughs> it's maddening calm, I'm falling asleep here. Uh, let me think. We already had a bit of a vote going as to what would replace Dawn of War Retribution once we're done with that game in about two more streams, judging by how long the rest have typically taken. Uh, so maybe until then we go 50-50 with Slime Rancher and Shipbreaker. I'm sure that would be a good idea. Okay, exchange the... The insufferable hyper capitalist world with the uh, calm ranching life. <laughs> It'll make a decent balance. Yeah. Uh, okay. Keep me sane. <laughs> okay, but for now, let's go re get that raid going. And yeah. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Sleep well, everyone. Watch out for sea hens. <laughs> and tar. Definitely watch out for the tars. <laughs> well